God has prepared for you. Thank you See, a lot of you are not enjoying peace in your homes because you have not allowed the Holy Spirit to reveal, to reveal. that that's what God has prepared for you. Mm -hmm. You are not enjoying abundance because you haven't allowed the Holy Spirit to reveal to you that that's what God has prepared for you. Yes, yes, See, yes. we think he's talking about something in the sweet by and by. Uh -huh. Oh, no, my friend. He's talking about the sweet here and now. That's right. Jesus got the sweet by and by covered. <laughs> He's got that covered. You have to live here and now, and you need to know what God has prepared for you. God has prepared peace for you. Yes. God has prepared, excuse me, abundance yes. for you. God has prepared health for you, yes. but you've got to allow the Holy Spirit, I like to say it this way, to mm. paint a picture of it on the screen of your yes. imagination. Because Ephesians says, now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that's at work in us. Will you allow the Holy Spirit to work in you? Yes. And all you really have to do is say, Holy Spirit, work in me. Holy Spirit, work in me. And yield yourself. Yes. And every now and then get quiet, like the Bible yes. says in Psalm yes. 4610. Be still and know that I'm God. Yes. Even in your finances, they may not be where you want them to be right now. Mm. Just be still. Stop calling everybody, trying to get a loan, trying mm -hmm. to borrow and digging yourself deeper into debt. Just yes. be still. Yes. Ask God to help you get your spending under control. Yes. Ask God to get, help you get your appetites under control. Mm. Ask God for wisdom. Mm. Meditate in the word. Yes. Read Proverbs. Get wisdom. And then yes. allow the spirit to show you that you can have as much as you can see. Yes. Allow the Holy Spirit to paint the picture. Those yes. of you in ministry, yes. you need to yes. allow God to show you that he's yes. capable of bringing in the money that you need yes. for your work. He's yes. capable of doing it. You may not see it with the natural eye. I'm not talking yes. about the natural eye. I'm talking about the spiritual eye yes. of faith. Let the Holy Spirit show you on the inside. Yes. You can do whatever he's called you to do. Wow. Your faith can. Your faith can. Your faith can heal you. Your faith mm. can lift you off of a paralytic bed. Beautiful. The man who was, even if you need some help, mm. the man who was paralyzed had four other men to help him. Mm -hmm. And they carried him to Jesus, couldn't get wow. in the house. Wow. So they said, let's take him up on the ceiling and tear Jeez. up. The Do you know that paralytic man could have said, don't you be taking me up there on no ceiling. You might drop me and I'll fall and I'll be in a worse condition. <laughs> Yeah, he but can. But we don't see any <clears throat> argument. They took him up there. They tore apart the roof, let him down. And the Bible says when Jesus saw their wow, faith. Wow, wow, wow. See, faith is what you do. Faith. Faith is what you think. Faith is what you say. Yes, yes. When he saw yes. their faith, Jesus spoke to that man. He said, get up. Your yes. sins are forgiven yes. you. Yes, 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 yes. People didn't understand what Amen. Jesus was doing, but Thank he was you, setting the man free. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, even as you were speaking, you know, saying that I can even see faith to live if you die oh yes you know what yes. I mean even if you die no if I mean once you die you ain't gonna want to come back here but you know if you had the faith that no, you wanted but to but you gotta have that faith to, before yeah <laughs> but I'm just saying it's resurrection power absolutely you know praise the Lord amen you know we're just gonna take a little short pause all right we'll be back ladies and gentlemen well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just so excited today. This is all the time. Uh, it's an exciting time to be happy Absolutely. because lives are going to change right now. Absolutely. Amen. In Absolutely. Jesus' name. So, Pastor, just whatever is in your heart for the... If we could, just right now, wherever you are watching this program, Amen. Just, just right now, just stop you, and Jesus. say, Dear God, Dear God, I acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord of my life. I acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord of my life. I acknowledge Jesus Christ as healer of my body. I acknowledge Jesus Christ as healer of my body. I acknowledge Jesus Christ as the deliverer of my soul. I acknowledge Jesus Christ as the deliverer of my soul. I acknowledge Jesus Christ as my provider. I acknowledge Jesus Christ as my provider. I open my heart. I open my heart. I open my mind. I open my mind. To all that you have for me. For all that you have for me. Fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your presence. Fill me with your presence. Grant me a knowledge of the truth. Grant me the knowledge of the truth. That I may walk therein. That I may walk therein. And be free. And be free. And be healed. And be healed. And be prospered. And be prospered. Be free and whole. Be free and Whole. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now believe that as you have prayed you, that, Father. that God responds Amen. to your faith. 
Yes. Sir. Your faith makes you holy yeah. and be still for a few moments at any time you choose and allow the spirit to speak to you so that he can guide you and lead you into the action that you should take so that whatever you have spoken believing in prayer you will see a manifestation because you must take action. The completion of your faith yes. is your action which says, I believe that what I prayed, I have it. I believe that what has been spoken, it is so. Amen. So just be still periodically and allow the Holy Spirit to guide you and lead you in the proper action to take. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, so you're located at 1701, 107 South Vermont. 1701 South Vermont Avenue. Los Angeles. In the city of Los Angeles. And service times are Sundays Services and Wednesdays. Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. Okay. and Wednesday <clears throat> evenings at 7.30 p.m. Okay. Everybody is always welcome to come and fellowship with us, hear the word, okay. sing with us, dance with us, amen. just celebrate God and celebrate amen, life. Amen. You know, the praise and worship there is simply awesome. You know, I love when I come in the praise and worship you know you just go to another place in God yeah, and you know I, I also enjoy the theme is to celebrate yes you're not just yes. singing a song oh, you're not no. there for a meeting or it's time to meet and don't it's come for to, gloom for gl okay mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a time of a celebration That's right. That's and you know right. another thing that encourages me in the ministry is that when you uh, have people to look at each other and say what God says about you yes you know because yeah. people need that contact absolutely. You know, and, absolutely and then tell him who he is our worship you today know. is incomplete without loving one another yes you yes. can't say you love God and yes. don't love your fellow man. Yes, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Again, on 107th and Vermont, mm -hmm. every Sunday at 11 o'clock and yes. Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Amen. So yeah. closing remark time. What's closing remark? Well, the closing remark would be make sure you stay in the Word. Hmm. Stay in the Word. Because remember, faith comes by hearing. All right. Hearing by the Word. Amen. Until next time. Praise the Lord. It's the new game, bounce, give me my five minutes of fame, I mean, roll as I proclaim the name with a bang. Something about that name, Jesus, Trust